we have heard some bad stories in the past several months or a couple of years.、Um, there had been some funds who ran into trouble, and investors have lost money. And they are they were as、uh, you know as are we approved funds, but how do we tell which fund is good or bad, and、sure. how do we choose and how do we in,、uh, avoid、uh, the the potential losses? Sure, it's a good question. Yeah, there have been some high profile、uh, failures or、uh, high profile、um, cases of fraud here, unfortunately,、uh, and they have involved SRV funds. Um, so I think what's very important for investors is when they're choosing the fund that they do a very extensive due diligence on the fund manager. Who are they? Who are the fund manager? Who owns them? Do I have transparency on the ownership on the balance sheet? What's the financial position of this company? Because you want to make sure that that company is around in five years' time when it comes to you getting your permanent residency. So it's very secure. If the company is listed, for example, they will have audited accounts that you can check. You can check the results announcement. Any、uh, material change will have to be publicly announced to the stock market. So that's a very good way. By choosing a listed fund manager, you know exactly the financial position of the company, how strong they are, how much cash on their balance sheet.、Um, so that can give you a, a bit of comfort. If the fund manager is not listed, you don't really have no certainty on、uh, who owns them or how strong the company is. The other thing to check, of course, is. Track record: How long have these people been involved in funds and fund management? What is their track record? Where have they worked before? What is the performance of their investments pr- previously?、Um, so you should be looking for people who've worked in the industry for many years, for the big names,、uh, for example, you know the big banks, etc.、Uh, here, that should give you some comfort that these fund managers know what they're doing, they're experienced, they're well known in the market, and well respected. So track record is the second thing, and then. The other factor you should check,、uh, which is very important from an SRV perspective, is how experienced is the fund manager in dealing with SRV funds. So, has this fund manager dealt with SRV investors before? Have they a track record of success of investing on behalf of SRV investors? Because, of course, we know it's not just about performing well in the investment; it's also about protecting investors' visa. So, we need investment fund managers who are very familiar with the SRV rules. And have got systems and procedures in place to protect the SRV during the period that you invest with them. So those three factors are probably the, the things investors should should research most: the track record, the background, and the financial position of the company, and also the experience in the SRV program. Okay,、um, a lot of investors would rely on the suggestion of migration agents. I suppose we play a very important role. Um, but all we can tell our investors is to、um, not only hear what they say, but also do the research and、sure. understand the background of the fund manager, but also the background of migration agents as well. There are a lot of migration agents who th- you thought they're migration agents, not, they're not even registered, and they、yeah. they're just salespeople. And we suggest. Uh, stay away from them because <laughs> they're not. No, I agree. I agree, Sean. I mean, investors should use、uh, registered migration agents like yourself. Very,、uh, we've known you for many years. Very honest and trustworthy. Very reputable.、Um, who are、uh, have done this for many years. Who are registered and very experienced in doing this type of visa. So it's very important in Australia to choose professionals who are qualified to do what what they're doing. For example, to submit. Uh, a migration、uh, or a visa application on your behalf,、uh, but likewise with tax and accounting, to to choose experts who are qualified to provide this advice,、um, and that goes for fund management as well, to do your due diligence and do your research on who you're choosing, or who you're paying to to submit your application and to make your investment. This is probably a question outside of the SIV product, but I still want to ask you, as you are a very experienced fund manager for so many years. Um, do we are from my observation, many Chinese investors,、uh, they don't be- understand how professionals work in the Western society, and they don't tend,、um, they don't plan to pay money.、Uh, they 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 incline to pay f- money for professional opinions.、Mm-hmm. As an as an Westerner, what's your view on that? And how,、uh, yeah. Look, you're right, Sean. We have seen that in the past. Investors have been reluctant sometimes. To pay for professional services like tax,、uh, migration, and accounting advice, 
But what we've seen over the last couple of years is it, that can sometimes end in disaster, as we saw with the high profile cases recently um, of, of funds that blew up. Those people were poorly advised. So they got bad advice from people who were not qualified to, to either make the advice or to make the investments. So our, our recommendation here is it's a very well regulated market here across all of the industry. So migration, you've got a, a migration regulatory body, which you must be registered with in order to, to submit. Uh, also with funds and, and tax, just make sure that the people that are, you're using are experienced. They've been doing this for many years and they're qualified. They've got a, a qualification to provide the advice that you've asked them to do. And we generally find it's worth paying for that service. You pay for the high quality service will protect you in the long run. Um, and we've seen that people who haven't done that have suffered, generally have suffered because they've been poorly advised.